Hey guys, I am Wizarding World YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to Victoria's Vintage Collection Episode 2. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a very simple video, um, I'm not going to lie, I'm in the middle of getting myself sorted because Janice and I are off to film at Privet Drive, the real Privet Drive. I've been invited by the new owners who cannot wait to meet me, well I can't wait to meet them so today when this goes live I will be filming at Privet Drive, I'm very, very excited. So it's going to be incredibly amazing to be filming at The Real Private Drive and the first influencer to actually be invited to film there as well. So it's really exciting. I really cannot wait to go. But I'm also going to talk about this onesie I've got from, from Groovy UK. Now don't get me wrong, it seems like a lovely onesie. I don't know if you can see this in the video, right? You can't. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My groin is there, but the end of it is there. So I feel like a freaking penguin. Honestly, it's so funny. I feel like a penguin. So today is the second episode of the Victoria's Vintage Collection videos. So if you'd like to see what I have to show you today, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring some fabulously vintage items to you, <laughs> then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. So do you know what I thought today, right, I was looking through the ones as I do, which one am I going to use today? And I picked up Mr Draco Malfoy's because he's the one person, actor, character that I feel sorry for because in film three they had, it's Alfonso, he asked them to design or to, he asked them, or they changed the wand, shall I say, to give their own representation of the character in their own wand. But apparently Draco Malfoy's Tom Felton's was the only one that wasn't changed. So all the ones in the films looked very, very similar until the third film when Alfonso decided to get a little creative. But as I always say, I'm going to put it back before I break it. So now it's time for your favourite part today in the wizarding world. So it is the 13th of April today, currently me filming at Private Drive, but I will read this to you. Madame Pince was swooping down on them, her shriveled face contorted with rage. Chocolate in the library? She screamed. Out! 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 And whipping out her wand, she caused Harry's books, bags and ink bottle to chase him and Ginny from the library, whacking them repeatedly over the head as they ran. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Chapter 29, Careers Advice. Now today is a simple, simple video and obviously we're talking about vintage items around the early 2000s. And uh, as I was clearing out the attic a couple of days ago, because I've managed to clear out, I think I had something like 30 vacuum bags full of items. Um, only 11 vacuum bags have gone back into my attic. Um, about six bags have gone to Janice Black bag. Uh, sorry, about six, no, five, uh, six charity bags have gone to charity. And then the rest, it must be about eight big bags have gone to Janice, Natalie and Maria. But while I was going through all these ridiculously huge amount of vacuum bags, I came across a few teddies from back in early 2000s. Now, I don't have many of them, but why I wanted to bring them up is because the designs are very different to how you would see um, a plush teddy now. So the ones from early 2000s are kind of cartoony because obviously they're based on the books, not the film. So here's a few examples for you. So there we have a few examples of the teddies you could get back in 2000 and there is more we have more on here as well so as you can see they're more cartoony than they are kind of as you would see them now i mean you're probably not going to find a creature plush back in the early 2000s even when the film came out in 2004 
I doubt, or five, I doubt whenever, what doubt you're going to find a plush of Creature. However, they did do some beautiful teddies. Now, I have a couple of them here to show you, literally only a few, because I forgot I was doing this video today, and put the rest up in the attic. I don't have many, but what I do have is incredibly cute. And again, they're all based around the same time. So you guys might have these, and I'd love to hear from you if you do actually have some of these teddies. Now, let me look. I mean, obviously, that book is my Bible. Well done for some of you who actually found that book. It's really good that you found it because it is my Bible. And then somebody else told me that they managed to find this book for about $1.99 on eBay. That is fantastic. I mean, you think this book is 21 years old now. So... It's been out a long time and I don't actually think there is any plushes listed in here. Now the plushes I have are quite, they're quite basic. Um, but the good thing is, is they can go in the washing machine. So I found some and they were not the colour they were meant to be. So they went in the washing machine, but I would certainly not recommend putting them in the tumble dryer. So I'm going to show you the first plushies that I have. Now these, again, are dated 20... Oh, one. So these are 2001. So for some reason I have two of these. So these are very much kind of a cartoon version of Hedwig. But I've got to be honest, I have so many Hedwig teddies and this Hedwig teddy has to be one of my favourite. I love her cartoon soft face and her beautiful, beautiful wings. Now, these are the ones that actually went in the washing machine because they came out so brown after being in the attic for so long. But they went in the washing machine and they came up spanking new again. So she really does look wonderful. But I wouldn't recommend it for all your teddies. A lot of teddies should be kept away from the washing machine and washed gently by hand or wiped down but uh, I took a chance because I do have two of them. So what I love about these ones, again, remember the design of the box? In fact, I have it here because I haven't put it in the attic yet, but do you remember the design of this box with the brick style on the packaging for the early 2000 merchandise? What I love about these teddies is the label has the same brick style pattern on it which is what I absolutely love so they are they are very much in with the theme of this packaging for this beautiful Hogwarts lamp that I showed you in my last video if you haven't seen that video then check out the link above it's my first episode of Victoria's Vintage but I love the idea of these teddies. They did quite a few because even though this Hedwig isn't in the book by picture, it is mentioned. But what I do like, now I'm not a fan of Scabbers at all. Obviously, Peter Pettigrew, he's horrible, so I don't like him. But I do like the Scabbers here. He's incredibly cute and cartoon-like. And then you have obviously got Norbert and you've got cartoon versions of Fluffy the dog as well. So that's really good. And also you've got fluffy versions or uh, toy versions of the Golden Snitch. And you have teddies like Crookshanks. This Hedwig is actually valued here for 16, between 16 and $20. Now I've got to be honest, I probably don't think Hedwig, this Hedwig is worth more than maybe £30 between 30 and 40 pounds. I don't think she's worth that much because she is pre-film. As I explained to you in the last video, a lot of the pre-merchandise doesn't go for as much, sadly. But I'm really hoping, I know my reach isn't very big, but I'm really hoping with my videos that there will be a more a more of a demand for the pre-merchandise pre before the films came out and the value will increase because it has happened when I've mentioned things on my channel before. So I know it sounds awful for people who are actually trying to get stuff but it's nice for items to be noticed and she is adorable and that these prices hopefully these things do go up in value now the other item I have is a very interesting item I don't know many people who have it now I'm, I'm sure there is I'm absolutely certain there will be people who have this the sorting hat in Harry Potter never used to look like, obviously, the one from the films. It was always expressed, explained to be a rough hat with lots of patches, looking incredibly old and sorry for itself. So here we have one that is a similar design to the one I'm going to show you 
this hat down here is typical of the way the sorting hat was meant to be portrayed before we saw the sorting hat in the film. As you can see, it's purple and black with a clear face on it and a load of stitching with patches. Now this is an actual, it says economy sorting hat, uh, light foam and black fabric with character details screen printed in purple and grey, valued between $7 and $13. But the item I'm going to show you, maybe it's not so much of a plush, but in my eyes it is a plush. This item is the same design as that, but I've never seen one as a bag. This is an actual sorting hat bag from, I think it's from Warner Brothers and he's got a, his mouth open, so I'm not sure how well you can see him in this video but you've got all these like purple stitching you can make out there, you've got the beautiful purple lining on the top and around here you've got satin patches for the sorting hat and around the back you have a Harry Potter label and a zip with a Harry Potter tag on it you can see there now it's not very big inside very well padded inside but there is a label inside that states that dates sorry a similar sort of design to the one that we've just seen on Hedwig as you can see there with the purple and the patterns and this is dated Warner Brothers Warner Brothers copyright dated 2001 so again this was pre-film which is why I love it. It's pre-film, I love the little tash, the tash bit it's got on the top. Pre-film and it doesn't look anything like the hat from the film, which obviously is very brown. Uh, I have one upstairs animatronic that will tell you what house you're in when it doesn't put me in Ravenclaw or Slytherin, I get really upset. Uh, but it, it is a very nice item, not that I would ever use it. This has been in a vacuum bag for a very long time but he is just adorable and I love how he is just so not like the films. He is perfect and of course he's got a little kind of stitching for eyes, I don't know if you can make out there, but it's very soft indeed and he is fantastic. I love him very much. I love the stitching it's got going around, stitching his mouth there. That's absolutely brilliant, but you are beautiful, aren't you? Now, the last two items I'm going to show you, again, are nothing like the two items I've shared with you just now. Now, they have a similar design to the teddies I'm going to show you. Now, I don't have Ron. I only have Harry and Hermione. I bought these at a Comic-Con for literally, like, I think 50p. Very cheap. And they have a similar look down here. If you can see it in the box, you've got a Harry there. That's him in the box and him out of the box. But his hair is very very short and like hair like that is uh, valued it says soft bodied figure dressed in jeans and stri a striped shirt under his removable black cloak 25 to 30 dollars now the ones i have are very similar exactly the same style harry your hair looks like it did in goblet of fire i think it's because you have you've been in the uh, vacuum bag for so long I have, they're not the prettiest of dolls, I don't do dolls, I don't like dolls, but these ones I had to get because they're plushies. I have a Harry and Hermione, I don't know why I'm shaking them, you can clearly see who's who, I mean come on now, you know, but look at this, you can almost play like, you know, Punch and Judy, whoosh, <laughs> with these two, it's so funny, but these are brilliant, so he's described in there having jeans and a striped shirt. Well, he's got jeans and a striped shirt, but his hair is crazy and his face is very different to the style in the book. So I'm not 100% sure where these have come from. The dates on them, there is a tag, Harry Potter characters, blah de blah de blah Again, Warner Brothers 2001. So these were based on the books, not the films. I think I'm pretty sure I mean the Hogwarts emblem is wrong for a start so it's very strange isn't it and she's in pink top and uh, jeans so and of course his hood does go up but his hair is so crazy that he looks a bit like a mop you know <laughs> hello <laughs> hello how you doing <laughs> 
oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not right in the head at all, am I? But these are, again, they are based on the, the books, not the film. They are a bit odd, aren't they? They are a bit odd, but I'm not a fan of Teddy's. This one, this one down here you can see is the other one that I said looks similar. His cloak is removable and that little clip there is very similar to the clip that you can find on the old ver children's cloak versions by Ruby's because Harry had one and he had one of those on his cloak which I threw away by accident like an idiot as Hermione would say. Let's see if we can find these in here. It's annoying because this is, oh they did beanies. This is the only ones that they talk about in the book the plushies so it's quite difficult to find any kind of reference to these ones as well so it's very 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 strange I mean I'm having a look oh see so yeah removable black robes she doesn't have removable black robes and then they have Ron so this is a different one altogether these are by got gond gund um, these plushies that are mentioned in the book they're by Gund G-U-N-D so unfortunately they are not in the book that I can see which is such a shame but I'd love to know as I said I'm not really fussed about getting Ron for this although it would be nice but I'm not the type of person to go out looking for Ron they are very different and they were on the back of my bed for a while with all my other plushies but they can go in a vacuum bag now back up into the attic someone said to me on Facebook if it's gathering dust, sell it. I said, I'm a collector. I don't buy things to sell. <laughs> Some people do, fair enough. I don't. If I want to get rid of stuff, I just give it to Janice, Natalie or, or Maria. I just, just, you know, take it. But yeah, he's still my, sorry, she is still my favourite. I still love Hedwig. So let me know in the comments below, what did you think? Have you got some of these plushies? If you have got anything from 2001 plushie wise, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. Maybe I've got it in the book. Maybe I can tell you how much it's worth. You don't know. But until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very, very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe